Now we're back, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. So, Stalker 2 is out uh, a couple of days now, and I was curious to see what mods have already been released uh, for it. The reception of the game has been quite lukewarm. I mean, some hail it as uh, a very good open-world shooter. Uh, some say it's a massive bug fest. I mean, what's new? I mean, I, I'm i as old as, you know, when the, the first three games came out. I remember uh, these games being extremely buggy and unstable. So it's only in the tradition of Stalker that um, Stalker 2 seems to be not as optimized as it could have uh, been. But I'm saying this with a bit of sarcasm, uh, because uh, we tend to expect more from modern uh, games. But alas, um, it's not the case. This is not a very optimized game. It turns out I did pre-order it, and as I said before, I will only play it when uh, some time has passed and the developers uh, have optimized the game a little bit more and squashed some bugs in the process. But the point of the video is to uh, have a look at what kind of mods uh, came out for it. And uh, it's, it's not uh, very surprising that most of the things that came out uh, include... Uh, uh, these two optimized tweaks, um, stalker optimizer, that they have to do with the uh, the lack of, uh, well, polish and uh, optimization. So let's uh, let's just have a a look, shall we? Um, now, uh, popular of all time, that's going to be interesting, is the stalker optimizer. Optimizes stalker two and reduces stuttering. So there's quite a bit of stuttering in the vanilla game. Uh, considerably so <laughs> this one works quite uh, good uh, by optimizing shader uh, compilation and assets streaming so that's one that's very popular right now here's another one optimize tweaks reduce stutter mouse fix uh, improve performance lower latency again a another technical mod that enhances the gameplay the performance and whatnot uh, what do we fear? Ultimate engine tweaks again. An engine tweak for uh, to to remove stuttering, uh, improve gameplay, and whatnot. Uh, this one, the ultimate solution to low performance and stuttering without reducing visual quality, plus extras. So, yeah, um, should I go on? I guess uh, the the first gameplay tweak actual gameplay tweak not really technical issues is the uh the grox less tanky bloodsuckers and poltergeists so it looks like uh these uh, enemies are very bullet spongy ish and uh so they are tweaked with that uh mod uh grog is also a uh a very uh popular name in the uh community so that's a uh a very good modder. Uh, what, we, what have we here? No weapon and, op, and optional outfits durability loss. Reduces durability loss from weapons or reduces by 50% you choose. They will no longer get damage when being fired. Now with optimal version affecting both. So uh, yeah, I've heard about that, uh, that uh, in the vanilla game, the weapons, uh, they degenerate quite quickly uh so this sort of mitigates that um well we'll just have to see uh, again a, a degradation mod the next one uh, fps boost less stuttering again stuttering so stuttering seems to be uh, quite a prominent problem uh no or reduced weight for ammo uh, so that's a sort of a gameplay tweak uh, balance difficulties, rebalance some aspects, uh, try the difficulty selection for a more immersive and balanced experience, especially in veteran hard. I mean, these games you need to play on hard. I mean, don't don't go for the easy or uh, medium difficulty. I mean, this is the zone. I mean, things should be 
hard and difficult. Uh, lower mutant health. So again, that's one that uh, has to do with the uh, creatures being a little bit spongy-ish. Uh, longer sprinting. Uh, what else? I mean, it's sort of a mixture of of technical mods and some some tweaks. Um, Mali bash range sprinting that sort of stuff just to to make it a little bit more immersive or 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 different than the vanilla game. Um, so yeah, that's th these are the popular mods. Uh, and the good thing about this, I mean, there's I mean, there's two sides of the coin, right? I mean, on one hand, it's a shame that the game released in such a state, right? And it's up to the modders to to fix the game. Uh, but the other side of the coin is that modders seem to step up the plate and actually do this because they love uh, they love the stalker uh, games and they do it so um, and they do it for free so Bethesda take note these are people the stalker community here are modders that do this stuff for free and uh, the developers not uh, profiting from that and here's some recent stuff. Um, again, more tweaks, faster backpack, realistic movement speed, uh, a codec vision three inspired reshade. So loads of stuff. And I'm looking forward to see where this is going. Uh, but mind you, there are also updates coming and patches by the developer. So some of these stuff might become obsolete. Uh, so hold off, I say, hold off playing uh, you know, to get the full intended experience, I'd say hold off and just wait a little, uh, a little longer, maybe one, a couple of weeks, even a couple of months, if you can, before actually jumping into this game because of the uh, current state it is in. Right, well, that's it for me. And see you in the next video.